Yeah, please, you know, do that, uh, uh, do that subscribe, click like. Okay, great, uh, wonderful. Hey guys, here we are having fun in our RV once again. About uh, three months ago almost, in January, I posted a critical review and a whole bunch of upgrades and tips and things like that. Well, here it is three months later, and I've got eight new upgrades and tips that I want to share with you guys. And we're going to make this happen really quick. I'm going to see just exactly how little time I can show you these eight new upgrades and tips. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. All right, the first one we're gonna talk about, of course, is this bumper uh, jack right here. This is a powered bumper jack. How hard was it to put in? Easy, undo three bolts, take the other one off, put another one down, put three bolts in, hook up the power, you're done. It's just that easy. Next one, these, these scissor jacks, stabilizing scissor jacks. First off, they this thing needed them badly. The front end rocked like, like nobody's business. How hard was this to put in? 15 minutes, I mean nothing. I have videos or installing both of these on our website right now. Let's go to the next thing. Stinky Slinky stored here in the bumper. I started hearing um, horror stories about people getting to their destination and that thing being empty and the Stinky Slinky is left somewhere on I-35 or something. The way it was secured in there in the past is just by this little cap sort of thing. Well, I thought, you know what, that's not enough. So what I did was I drilled a hole in here and I put in a, uh, uh, a hitch pin. So now all I have to do is put that in there like that and our, uh, and our little you know, business device in there doesn't go anywhere. And not only that, but everything is lanyard together so we don't lose anything at all. So there we go. There's that one, which I think was critically important. You should think about it too, all right? The next five things are inside. Here we go. Look, look the wrong way. Here we go. Uh, the next thing that I did was something I saw in some other video, and that is we installed a curtain here between the bed and the bunk beds, or even this bed. It's made up. This is this was really really easy. It's just a matter of finding the right curtain rod that is uh, uh, in there by spring loaded. I lined it up with this seam right here, and now parents or whoever wants a little bit more privacy can pull a curtain and bada bing bada boom. How about that? Isn't that cool? Next thing on the list. I saw in a video where some people found some neat kind of canvas containers that they put up on that shelf on that's on the uh, uh, on the Coleman 17 series. I couldn't find that but I went down to uh, uh, Dollar Tree which has gone up in price. It's now Dollar Quarter Tree. I, I don't know. Anyway and I found these blue containers here that fit right up in there perfectly. They're just tight enough where they don't come. We tried them going down the road. We drove, uh, what, 1,200, 1,500 miles uh, last month or earlier this month and uh, went out to West Texas, all kinds of things. None of them came out at all. They are really, really handy. For example, the first one right here by the TV has TV remotes and adapters and things of that nature. And it goes on. We've got uh, dominoes, playing cards in here. we got all kinds of stuff. Sunscreen in one of them. Handy dandy little device. Okay. Next thing we put in since January were these uh, uh, were these struts for these cabinets. You know how you had to hold them up in order to do it. This was really it was an interesting job to start with. Then I figured it out. It's pretty easy. I have a tutorial video all about doing it, putting these things together on the website in case you want to check it out. But we love it, man. That's so much better than having to hold it up. Okay. Next thing I saw a thing where somebody used some LEDs. To put a light right here by the front door so when you're coming in you you hit that light and because all these lights are up here and if it's dark you're feeling around on the ceiling looking for these things trying to find that little button well you have this this is just mainly to help you enter and exit the um, uh, the RV in the dark and it's very accessible you just reach in hit it from when you're coming in the door Isn't that pretty cool we thought well that's kind of cool what else could we do with that I know bathroom lights you know when you're when you're getting up to go to the bathroom you're you're feeling around feeling the duck and, you, and your eyes are not working right and you go into the bathroom and you start doing this and you're okay but you know, like this and then you hit that light you know and it, you know, I don't have the battery on but you hit that light and you go oh god out you know, like this and then you feel around well what we did was we installed one of these mini lights because they came in a package of three right here you hit that as soon as you walk in the door 
and you have just enough light to be able to take care of your business in there. Now we have one left over. Well, what are we gonna do with that? Well, I don't know, we can do so. Oh, I know, we can uh, do this. We can make it a uh, uh, an under cabinet light here. And so I installed one right here. Well, that was kind of cool. What else could we do? Well, here's the thing we could do. Hey, if you, if you ever have a, uh, if you have a Coleman 17B or probably any of the Coleman products and you're here in bed and I don't know, you. You drop the fig newtons you were eating here in bed, or something like that, and you go, "Oh man, I need, I, honey, I dropped the fig newtons." Well, what do you do to turn the light on? Well, you have to pretty much get up and stand up on the bed to turn on one of these lights. Okay. Well, that's no good. So what we did was, hey, it's mini light madness. So I put one right here. So now, if you need a light in the bedroom for whatever re reason, then you got one right there. Well. That's pretty cool. Where else could we use one? Well, we found them in all kinds of places. What was one of the other places? I don't remember. Uh, there was one other that was really good. Isaac's bunk bed? Uh, yeah, I put one in one of the bunk beds there to light up things of that nature. And we got one more somewhere else. I'd have to count them all. But anyway, mini light madness. Madness. Boy, I tell you what, that came in real handy. All right, let's see. What else do we have left? Oh, yes. Our, uh, our daughter and son-in-law and the grandkids borrowed our RV uh, just this past weekend and of course they, the kids wanted to sleep on the bunk beds. Well, it, if you have one of these, you know how impossible it is for an adult especially, but even uh, most kids to get on these bunk beds. Well, so many people built ladders for these things and oh my goodness, some of them are great ladders. I mean, they're beautiful to what these people have done and some of my favorite guys have, have, have done this. but. I don't have the tools to do that. I don't have the tools to make mortise and tendon joints and all the things that they did. So, and even if I did, I think I could make a decent ladder. That's not that hard. But with lumber prices, what they are, it's going to cost me $50. I wonder if I could buy one. And my lovely wife said, why don't you just buy one and not have to mess with it? Okay. And boy, was that a good decision. And so we bought this ladder here. It's a great little ladder. It hooks on here. Now these things come six feet long. so. You, the, the tools, of course, they say in order to put these things together is a screwdriver, a wrench, and a hacksaw. Well, I, I do have an angle grinder, and so I cut this off so the grandkids could do it. And then it just hooks onto here, just perfectly. Look at that, just hooks onto there. And, and sure, it cost me, oh, I, I guess you could say a little bit more than building a ladder would, but A, I didn't have to build it, and B, it looks real nice, and I, you know, I don't have to worry about trying to store it somewhere it's it's there it's gonna work just great that's it okay stop your watches let's see how long this took to do eight uh, different new upgrades since January and if I have to we will edit